Patrick Wood has John Meredith's Rover MP58, and another Rover-powered car is the Anson of Paul Gething. Practice didn't begin too well for the Midlander, nor for Lane, but Robin Boucher tells us how they fared in the competition. While well, practice was very wet indeed, very nearly catching out the reigning champion, it wasn't much better on the Monday either, and the rain certainly had an effect upon the result. But not for John Corbin, who opened his season well, taking first blood in the 500 class, while Phil Jeffries was the winner of the 1100 category. The first Gulf Oil Championship runoff of the year saw Christian Manif in the Pillbeam Sports Lieber car just failing to make a point scoring position, as too did Peter Harper, never a happy man in the wet with the 1600 vision. Tenth place and the final point from the runoff finally fell to Peter Blankstone and the Warfield Pillbeam, but it was Ian Stringer and the Reynard going exceptionally well to take ninth place. Eighth in the championship last year with the self-constructed RH430, Adrian Hopkins completed the Lowton runoff in that position. But he couldn't match the 1600 vision, this time in the hands of Tim Barrington.